Look how cool that thing is. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're oh, done, dude. Oh, All in, inside the boots. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Oh, oh, oh. A raccoon wants it. A raccoon's gonna get you. <laughs> Let's head him up. Woo! With catch him all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Get him up. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do something a little bit different today, something I've been wanting to have a little bit of fun with for a very long time. Now, we have goldfish, and we've had goldfish for a while that have grown up from feeder fish. You know, a lot of people take these goldfish, they're not very nutritious, and they feed them to their pets. But come on over here, guys. We have grown them out to giants. You've seen them, we've taken tumors off of them. They have been absolutely just monsters. Goldfish are monsters. They eat everything, they continue to eat, but right now, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Now, these are, once again, feeder fish, and just like that, we got them 20 minutes ago, and they're already kicking the bucket because they weren't, no one put any oxygen in them. They just kind of bubble wrapped them. <laughs> and they're sitting here on like, carbon dioxide and uh, not looking too good. There are fish in here that will eat these feeder fish. Now, the ones that, you know, just didn't even make it in the car ride are definitely going to be slurped up. We have arowanas and stuff like that. But these guys right here are gonna be making us a little, a little oasis, if you will. Something pretty cool. So, we're gonna put this right here for now. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to make this little oasis turn into something really big. Now these goldfish are not gonna go into this pool. If they did, all of our arowanas would clap them. We also have a gar in there. There's a lot of invasive little fish that swim up. They can't get out, but swim up the pipeline for the water entry. They just get in here. There's like all types of little catfish and stuff that get picked off. But if you guys check up over here, check around town. Look over here. You go this way, I'm gonna spook everybody that way. Go ahead. Now, these are my monsters. You can see with from the water lands, and even without, it's crystal clear right now, it's winter time. These guys are beautiful. We have growing out arowanas, we have all koi that guys, we've actually caught most of the larger fish in here, and the other ones we've raised. So these guys are very, very close to my heart. This gar at the bottom right here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but even the arowanas, we got those things at two inches long, maybe three tops. And now we have three of them. They're all sitting here by me because they want to give me a cuddle. I love you, babies. But go over there. Go, go, go. Go by the camera. Go show yourself. They're all sitting down here by me. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so they're going to get a little treat with the goldfish that didn't make it today. But we're going to do some fun. So they're going to get a little treat with the goldfish that don't make it today. But we're going to do something a little bit fun. I think you guys will actually enjoy. First things first, we have to acclimate these fish. And that means they need to float. Sit right here and don't go anywhere. <laughs> Our goldfish have been acclimating for a while with the same water. So now what I'm gonna do is I want this water to not trickle over the top, but to come to about right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a little slice right there. Now, I don't want the fish to escape, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. That should be enough. If not, I'll do a little bit more to it, but I basically made a screen right here. Instead of chopping a big hole, I just cut and cut and cut nice slices that don't go over each other. And that is just gonna make a screen. Now that is the most important part of this video if you're trying to do anything like this. And then, boom, the fish just start jumping out. You don't have to put a screen. You don't have to think much into it. Just get a really slow pump like this one, and boom, it sits right at that water level. Simple and easy going right back into the little pond behind us. We got Farley over here. What's up, Farley? What's up? <laughs> I couldn't help but see this beautiful masterpiece over there, and I just, <laughs> just want to enjoy. The masterpiece it shall become. But right now, it is a work in progress. So we have one of these, right? 
Now we're gonna have to pick out the dead guys because like I said, we just got this maybe, I think uh, less than an hour ago. Okay. But it, when I got them, they were already dying like before I even got here. So we're just gonna pour the water out to the side. Instead of scooping, normally I would just scoop them out in the net. But this is gonna be just fine. It's a tremendous amount of water. Unless I get most of them on the ground, which I feel them <laughs> slipping through a little hole in the bag. I didn't realize it was there. It'd be like that. <laughs> so these guys are gonna do just fine. 52 pickup right here. That was a big one. Yeah, oh, there's a really cool one too. Every once in a while you get one like this. Oh, that was nice. You know? Yes. <laughs> so nice. that's what we're really looking for. And I've had some grow out and I still have those giants. Farley have some, Joey has some behind the camera. Paul, yeah, yeah. everybody has some of these, you know, mini moose still out there, but oh, no. there are casualties oh, no. like this guy. But he's fighting though, he's fi He's fighting, but the fight is lost. But look, actually we didn't lose that many. Yeah, not really. There's I think two in here. But like I said, the dead guys will filter out themselves. Look at them. See, when they're in a flow like that, we're gonna go ahead and put like a nice little rock or something for them to like hide behind. But pass me those, uh, there's two more bags, oh, Farley. Like, there's right one here. right there. Perfect. Do the same thing. And there's another bag. Oh, Ooh, it's kinda deep. Hey, check this out. <laughs> it's kinda deep Did over you there. See that air one? Oh my God. Check this out, let's see. Oh. LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Can you reach that bag or no? I mean, are those rock stable? Let's see, hold on, before we get. Before we miss Farley going in. What do you mean? I'm not gonna go in. <laughs> oh no, you're done. You're Frost totally is done, bro. Okay, they're not as stable as I thought. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done, dude. Oh, All in, inside the boots. <laughs> oh, he's done. done. And look, he pushed all the rocks down. My bad. Oh, oh my god. All inside the boots. They had algae in them too. I have a net right here. <laughs> Need a hand? Yeah. It's alright. It's better to learn a lesson at this point. That was really smart. At least it's not cold outside today. <laughs> With your Waterland sunglasses, we would have been able to find Farley drowning at the bottom of this three foot pool. <laughs> alright. <so. laughs> but before you do that, I actually need you to go back in there because you destroyed like all the rocks, bro. There. Look yeah. at him. <laughs> with, with the Waterland sunglass, you can see that my friend, Dr. Farley, went in there and destroyed... Wait, don't step on the rock. Oh, try, no, just go right to the bottom and then okay. try to like lean There's them. There's so many rocks. Yeah. He destroyed the whole seawall over there, so <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> so just stack them up. You want my glasses so you can see better? Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah, wow. I appreciate so while you're doing that, just stack up those rocks along just as close as you can. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and hit them. <laughs> so anyway. Oh <laughs> see you soon, buddy. What we're gonna do right now is we're taking these goldfish and we're just gonna take our time and acclimate them one at a time and pick out the dead ones. You guys can see there are 20 in each bag. And we lost, I think, three out of the last bag. And we have it, we're doing pretty well. They're all staying right over here. We're gonna put a little bit of some type of organic matter, maybe a rock, something like that, that they can just hide behind so that current doesn't continuously just make them burn energy nonstop. But at the same time, they can jump in that current, get really strong, they'll be eating and they'll blow up super quickly. Now, you might say, okay, it could be overcrowded, but at the same time, when you have a water flow this fast, you see all that water's coming in, coming in, coming in, that oxygen's coming in. It's not as bad when you overcrowd the fish, especially goldfish. These guys were in a container about like a 10 gallon tank just waiting to die, like literally. So these guys are gonna be much happier here than they were. Yeah, I can't even see. Hold on a second. Yeah, all of them? Boiling yeah, all sunglasses. Let me see. Very nice, very nice. I appreciate you. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> We got the muscle over here rearranging ponds, destroying things, the Prince of Egypt behind us. Anyway, we're gonna get all of these goldfish out, throw them inside here, and then we're gonna get their new friends as well. One at a time, baby, one at a time. Check that out. 
it's crazy to see so many. They're so pretty. That orange is just next level. That's what color that gar was. Look at that. Hello. <laughs> wow. I was trying to pick out the dead ones, but I think there's only two. And I like to give dead fish, especially when they're little like this, an extra minute or two in the water to see if maybe they kick out. Because it could be shock, you know. But no, these guys, they're one food. Most people start up fish as a goldfish from like a carnival or whatever back in the day, or just grabbing one of these feeder fish just because they're cheap to get and they just, they're so pretty and a lot of times they're really hardy, even though people find ways to kill them. <laughs> so much fun. Woo, some cool ones in there. Oh, look at this one. Oh, I, I'm gonna get them for you guys. See, you can filter out some of the toast ones. Toast, toast. Oh, we lost a cool one. Dang, look how cool that one was. Turn around for me. That was gonna be a cool one. But they're feeder fish, and in the pet stores, they are not maintained like a fish for sale. They are just kept alive to feed to other fish, but they're not very nutritious. And they should be just decent enough to break up that flow for them and to give our new friends something to climb onto. Let's see, I might need a little bit more than that. Oh, that's perfect, perfect. Yep, right against there. So anything that tries to swim at that will get blasted back. Perfect, nice and slow on this side, super fast on that side. We have that rock. We have some, wow, we have some really, really cool. I love getting feeder fish because you always get like a, like hand picks in there if you get a lot. There's one in here that's really, 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 actually there's three in here that I just think are insane. So this one right here reminds me of like a Japanese koi fish, he's hard, very alert, good raccoon defense. Anyway, this guy right here, come on buddy, look, 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 look. got him, uh, uh, uh. a raccoon wants it, a raccoon's gonna get you. <laughs> so this guy, as you can see, has that one spot of orange right on his head, he's gonna be really easy to identify. Beautiful, beautiful little guy. There's a couple others in there like that. Like this one. A little easier to catch. Look how cool that thing is. And you never know what they're gonna develop into. That's the thing. So they have that fin, looks beautiful, but it could develop into something entirely different. Like you guys have seen, oh actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this down a little bit lower. You guys have seen my orange gar. Now my orange gar, ah, come over here, check this out. You're not even gonna believe it. I don't know if you guys remember the orange gar, but I'm sure you do. If you watch this channel for any time at all, check it out. Hey look, there's a little white fish all grown up. <laughs> he got blasted out of his home. You see that guy? Yeah. Did you see him for a second? I'm not sure. You saw him? Yeah. It was just right here. Anyway, there was a jolly green giant that just destroyed. D5 full foam. <laughs> Those African cichlids, big white African cichlids, all in here, all inside the rocks. They come out only to eat. Where they're, it's really cool to see them sometimes. Where, are, where is that gar? Oh my god! Ago. He's like, yeah, he's on the other side. Around. He's on the other side. I'm gonna see if I can spook him this way to you. Right now, all the fish are spooked because there was a giant. <laughs> it was bright orange. He's turning. He's turning. Maybe he's coming back. Maybe he's actually afraid of joy, but he's right on the bottom right now. Right next to the koi. Yeah, right on top of the koi. That guy was bright orange. He's right here. Here. Oh, he's over. coming into the yeah, light. He's right there. Perfect. Perfect. Right there, guys. He just got smacked by the koi. Yeah. But this guy was bright orange, and now he looks like the most average gar you've ever seen. Just super, super healthy because he's been in our care for a long time. But guys, you just never know what a fish is going to become when you see them when they're small, and you just never know. It's really, really cool to see that. But these guys. We're gonna see that as well. For now, we're gonna grow them out, have some fun, and then we're gonna transfer them in a, like maybe a day or two 
into a much larger enclosure. Now this is just a temporary pond, just in case anything was like really, really sick or weird. I didn't want to have all the goldfish in there. They are feeder fish, but at the same time, if I spotted anything really weird or if they would like be affected by this water or something weird, there's weird things that happen to fish. Sometimes you just cannot control it. So I like to have them in an isolated pond, even though it is pretty much connected. It's easy to see the fish in this very, very shallow body of water. So we're gonna have this here for a day, maybe two. Then we're gonna take them, move them over to another pond that right now we actually have to empty out. We're gonna take our time with this, go get their little friends, their compadres, who they will be living their lives with until their giant foot long goldfish, which you guys will see on the channel in days to come. Hopefully Paul doesn't destroy this pond before we get into it, guys. Stay good. tuned for the next episode. <laughs> Catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Get him off!